Hello, this is Julia Bushkova, and right now I will address a topic of acceleration of the tempo, or in other words, how to learn to play faster. Pretty much uh, regardless of whether you are a beginner or intermediate or advanced even player, the main principle of speeding up left hand is to get the right hand out of the picture. Not literally, of course, because, but sometimes actually literally. So in other words, if we, we are going to try this technique literally, uh, here's your fingers. And your fingers go slowly right now. What well, if I play them a little bit faster? That doesn't seem to be very difficult to me. Now, when you put it in with the bow, That's not difficult. And then on the same slur, you make sure that your fingers are not tied up. That's very important for beginners and uh, intermediate level, but advanced people probably all already got it. So it's very important not to jam fingers together and not to have any physical tension uh, in the hand or in the fingers when you play. That it goes without saying. If you're very tense, you will not be able to play faster, no matter how much you try. Uh, so again, playing on one slur and accelerating gradually in, in that fashion is the best way to do it. Now, speaking about more advanced players who might want to speed up a really difficult passage, there are several um, exercises or several approaches, rather, that you might want to do. Of course, there's a famous thing is uh, to play uh, your passage, and I will just show a little scale, you know, D, D major scale. So this is dotted rhythm. And so on. And then when you put it in the scale, that's what you get. Very importantly, you need to reverse it and not only play D long, E short, F sharp long, and so on, but also do the opposite. So you train the action of taking off the string in, uh, in all the notes of your little passage. All right. Next thing is to play some other rhythms. Uh, the dotted rhythm usually comes first, we usually learn first, but then we do other rhythms. For instance, if your little passage, in this case um, I will have eight notes. Okay, that's my passage. Um, I will group it in such a way. And that went one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Uh, after you did it enough times, you can actually also put it in separate bows and train a little bit of uh, coordination with the right hand. It also helps the left hand too. But again, since at this point I said that let's stay with legato, we'll stay with the legato, which means slurs. Second rhythm is to move your fast notes to the middle of your group. Instead of tam, pam, pa, pam, you will have tam, pa, pa, pam. And you repeat the same thing. So what are you doing on these short notes? You are speeding up those notes while you're still kind of resting comfortably on the rest of them. So here's your next rhythm, second one. Make sure that your fingers are articulate when you do these changes and don't go like that. This is not articulate fingers, these are. Articulation means how fast you take the finger off the string, obviously in the bass joint, bass knuckle, and not up. It's also very important. Next rhythm you do will be ta ta tam pam pa pa pam pam. All right, and then the last rhythm you want to do is number one, which was tam, pam, pa, pa, pam, pam, two uh, longer notes first, but you start with the second note of your passage. So in this case, not with D, but with E. 
here it ends. So this one is not too large of a passage, but let's say I was playing G major in two octaves. Something like that. So I will be then playing not from D, uh, from the G string, but A. As you could see, that will be the last uh, link of the short notes. They moved progressively from the back, um, from the later part of your four notes, into the middle, into the beginning, and finally the link with the next four note group. Okay, so that way you covered everything. Uh, the next technique is to play the bursts. The bursts, uh, different people call it different names, but the burst basically is to get several fingers really fast. So instead of playing and try to accelerate it, you just go and back. So you go up and back. Even if your passage doesn't go back, that is another technique I call loop, looping. So, and that's a burst. In a, my passage again, was this little scale. Uh, I will start with two fingers, then I will do third finger. As you can see, my fingers do not stay pressing the string, and that's again important if you want to speed up. You can either lift them, just like this, or at least don't press into the string when you're playing the other notes, okay? Um, stay loose. That is not so much for the left hand, it's more for the right hand. But again, not all fingers went fast. And that may be a little bit too long, and you can shorten it by starting later, for instance, from F sharp. It will involve also string crossing, and not only your fingers, and so on. So these are the most uh, basic, simplest techniques to make your playing faster. And of course, you can always make it harder, as I mentioned a little bit a while ago, uh, it, by playing the same things, separate bows. It will enhance it, okay? So I hope it has been helpful. Happy practicing, and I will see you all later.